Prometheus, arise. What it do, werewolf gang? <laughs> big news, baby, big news. Taking delivery, taking delivery of, bam, finally, the SS is back in the house. We taking delivery, well, we took delivery of it already. I wasn't here, I told him to drop it off. You know, your boy, your boy T-Light was at work. You know what I'm saying? So I told him to just drop it off at the house. Finally been here, I ain't had this car for about, two, about three months. It's been about three months since I had the SS, as you can see. It's dirty, I was gonna take it to get it washed, but it's raining out here, as you can see. It's raining out here. It's raining out here. It, de it definitely need a wash, though. It definitely need a wash. Look how dirty it is. Look how dirty it is. Let me get a super wash. It's filthy. Filthy McGilty. Super filthy. But yeah, we definitely just got it back like earlier today. And uh, the mechanic, he had it for way too long. I ain't gonna lie. My guy, I love you to death, but damn, three months is a long goddamn time to have a goddamn car. He had it for like three months for months. And uh, I took delivery of it today. We're gonna go ahead and start him up. Let's start it up and see if it's uh the goddamn actuator's got to be fixed. There we go. Ooh, hoo -hoo. A little cold start on the Super Sport. A little cold start on the Super Sport. The big boy tips and let it warm up a little bit. But uh, yeah, I just got this back today. Super excited, man, because I got big plans for this car. And I know y'all was wondering where the, where the SS at. As you can see, the Magnum is not here. The they go Prometheus right there. He about to be uh, I'm gonna end up tarping. I'm gonna end up tarping the Hellcat Prometheus for the winter time. Let me turn this light on. Let me turn this light on. Look at all this trash. My girl got all this trash in here. Well, I got it in here. She so want me to do this trash. But yeah, we gonna end up tarping the Hellcat. Prometheus, I ain't, I ain't, I gotta take him to the wash. Look how dirty it is. I gotta take it to the, I gotta take it and get it washed before I put it up. You know, it's ceramic coated though, so it's still glossy, but still we gotta take it, uh, we gotta take it, get it washed, then we gonna tarp it. I got big plans for the Hellcat. Do have, I can do a couple miles this winter time, but I got some big plans for this car. Might wide body it, I might not. Depends on how I feel. It's, I could easily wide body it, but I don't know. It depends on how I feel. Or if y'all want me to, just let me know, man, and uh, I'll make it happen. I'll try to make it happen, because I ain't rich. Like I said, I ain't rich, but we working on getting rich. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's, those are wheels to the Jeep. They got a Jeep right there. They got a Jeep right there. They got that big boy Jeep right there. But yeah, we're going to get in. We're going to talk about this Super Sport today, man. We're gonna get, I definitely got to give it a test drive, because I ain't drove it in a while. I definitely got to test drive it. But, uh... They go to Jeep right there in case y'all was wondering, man, what a Jeep? Come on now. I got the winter set up on the, on the Jeep right now. I got the winter set up. I'm gonna do a video on this setup right here. Cause a lot of people been asking me about this setup, how I got it set up, you know. All my mods on that. I'm gonna do a little do a little quick little video on that. For those who are new to my channel. That's Colossal. The Jeep, my Jeep. It's a JL 2018, 2019, 2018, one of the years. I don't know, dual exhausted. I got a gang of mods on it, man. I'm gonna do a little uh, video on that for y'all, for everybody want to know. But I got big plans for this right here. <laughs> I got big plans for this. Nothing, not, nothing motor-wise. I ain't gonna do nothing to it like motor-wise or nothing like that. I ain't. I'm not. It's fast enough for me. You, if I get it from the factory and it's fast, I'll just keep it fast. Cause this got like three, three thirty, three. I think it's souped it up a little bit. It's got like three hundred thirty horsepower. Nothing, nothing special. It's front-wheel drive, as you know. And some people say it's a muscle car, some people don't. But I got good plans for it. Probably going to end up ceramic coating it, get the paint, you know, restoration on it. Got to get another light. One of these lights is kind of, it ain't, it ain't, they ain't yellow or nothing like this, but I think the film is peeling. I don't know if y'all can see it close enough. You probably can't see it, but yeah. So I'm going to end up getting another right light. I'm going to end up getting another Chevy sign. See how it's. See how it's like bubbling and shit. That's I mean, end up either getting a black one or getting another bow tie. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Depends on what I want to do because I could easily, I could easily paint that if I want to. You know the grill and all that. Might get some new wheels for it. I like the wheels that's on it, but I'm probably gonna end up getting some new wheels. It's not a that's not a flat tire for y'all. Think man, that don't flat? Nah, it's just water right there. Saying it's just. 
that's just water. But I'm gonna end up getting those, changing those wheels out because as you can see, they got a little bit of, I don't know what that is, like corrosion in them or something. They still look good, but I'm gonna end up putting some more wheels on it. You know, I'm gonna put some more wheels on it, get it looking good. Definitely gotta retin it. I definitely gotta retin it out. This this tin is not lighter. It's too it's too light. This tint too light. I'm a dark. I'm a tint the windshield for sure. And I'm gonna tint all the windows all the way around. Get it dark. I'm gonna get it dark like Prometheus is. See how that? You see how Prometheus is? A Hellcat. See, how I got the tint on that. I got the windshield tinted and the windows blacked out. Not limo tint, but damn near. You can't see me, but I can see you type of shit. You know what I mean? Y'all yeah, gonna end up doing that. Definitely gotta get this black. Get this. I'm probably gonna black this bow tie out. Probably gonna black it. It probably red, red it around there. Depends on the. I'm just gonna do a lot of cosmetic stuff to this car. Cause this car is just gonna be my. This is my one of my daily cars. You know, I daily this car. As well as my Magnum. I don't drive it every day, but it's a great winter car. It's 300 some horsepower front wheel drive car. So it's an excellent winter car. It's an excellent muscle car for the winter. It's actually the best muscle car in, for the winter. I ain't gonna sit there in front. This is the best muscle car you can buy for the winter time. People say it's not a muscle car, but it is a muscle car. It's a Super Sport V8, 5.3 liter. It's just a front wheel drive car. If it was, if it wasn't a front wheel drive car, you'd call it a, you'd call it a muscle car. So I don't want to hear that. But we gonna do a video about that too. We definitely gonna do a video about that. But uh, yeah, it's a Super Sport, and I got plans for this car. I gotta fix those goddamn actuators. I'm gonna end up getting those fixed. I'm gonna end up getting those fixed uh, shortly. Also, my horn fucked up too, you know. I need to change the, uh, the fuse out on the horn. Let me, get in. Let me sit down. I gotta change the fuel out on the, the fuse out. Look, press it on the horn and it don't go off. So, and for, for y'all that wanna know, no check engine lights on this bad boy. This little sensor. I don't know which tire it is, so I ain't even gonna worry about it. I ain't even gonna worry about it. Cause I'm gonna end up changing those wheels out anyway. But as you can see, the inside of this car is in excellent condition. I mean, it ain't in excellent, it's in good condition. I mean, for, for this car to be 2007 SS, it's in good enough condition for a daily car, you know. I keep it clean. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna clean it out some more though. I'm definitely gonna clean it out some more. Get the SS signs back sparkly, darkly. See, my mechanic had this stuff, so he been, you know, it's dirty hands and all that shit. But yeah, we're gonna get it clamped up real nice and proper like. Now that door ain't unlocked. Matter of fact, let me let this window down. I don't wanna lock myself out this motherfucker. But yeah. Matter of fact, let me show y'all that tent while I'm at it. See my tent right there? I don't know how that even started happening. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that fixed. That ain't, that ain't shit. Like I said, I'm gonna tent the, we tent the windows. Retent the windows. Give me another steering wheel thing. Replace that. There ain't too much I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna make it look good, man. I'm definitely gonna make it look good when I put those wheels on it. Paint restoration. It ain't gonna cost too much to do all that. That ain't a lot of money, you know. Give me some more SS wings. Matter of fact, I'm gonna look up those tonight. I'm gonna look those up tonight. But yeah, man, it's a lovely car. I love this car. It's my, one of my favorite cars. And uh, we're gonna give it a test drive. We're gonna test drive it in a second. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a second. We're gonna take it for a quick little spin. You know what I'm saying? Bop! Well, we in the whip, y'all. See what's going on with the Super Sport. Let's give it a little test drive. Because as you know, before I took it, for all the werewolf gang to know what I'm talking about, I could not turn right as you can see i'm turning right real easy baby real easy baby real easy we're going to martin's anyway so <laughs> give it a little test give it a little Ooh, i'm gonna take us out of the game the super sport got a little bit of power <laughs> got, got a little bit of power come on christine you know that thing got a little bit of power my fiance trying to act like I ain't got no power. This thing got that power. You know, it's got a little bit of power. Well, yeah, it's riding good so far. For it to be, have been gone for over three months. Come on, man. I ain't gonna put your name out there, though. <laughs> it's 
see what it's got. We can't go too fast down this pedestrian street. I'm gonna roll that window up though. It's cold. It's yes. cold. It's cold in what? It's cold in Indiana. Indiana got corn and cold weather. <laughs> For those who want to know, what's Indiana got? Cold and corn. <laughs> and your boy T. Light. Yeah, we're gonna put a little petrol in here. But well, I ain't gonna drop my fiance. Y'all ain't gonna know what's going on. We're gonna go get her some coffee and some other whatever else she wanted. But yeah, I just wanted to test drive this bad boy, see what it's talking about, make sure it's rolling good, which it is, as you can see when before we couldn't turn right. Now I can turn right, turn left. So what we replaced was the power steering pump and what was it? Rack and pinion. Rack and pinion. Yeah, we replaced this power steering pump back in pinion. Also, if you've been rolling with the Werewolf Gang, you know I also replaced the fuel pump. And the bastard put the wiring wrong, so when it reads... It said it's empty when it was full. Yeah. And it, it was full, it's empty. Yeah, so basically when I... So basically car, I ran out of gas because it said it was full, but it was really on empty. So I ran out of, I ran out of gas at the drive through at Popeye's. So Tragic. Yeah. <laughs> basically when I fill it up, I'm going to show y'all real quick anyway. But when you fill the car up, it's gonna say empty instead of saying full. Yes. Don't so ever go to uh, any. Don't ever go to any mechanic in Three Rivers, Michigan. So that's where the car. I thought I had a full tank yeah, of gas. Broke down at so. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. Damn, I'm roll right. Well, I gotta go to the tank. Yeah, don't ever do that. I also gotta replace these damn windshield wipers. Try. I, I think these is too big. As you can see, when it rolls past, it clanks on the side. I'm gonna show y'all. See how it clank on the side right there? See it? It goes over. Yeah, it goes over. So I'm gonna replace those. And uh Yeah, we got we got a few things we gotta replace. Eventually I'm gonna get that fuel pump rewired, but man, it costs money for them to go in there and do that shit. And I ain't trying to get nobody no money just it to go in there. It cost fifteen hundred dollars last time we got all uh, new wires, ground yeah. wires and stuff. I ain't trying to be doing all that just because a motherfucker put a wire on backwards. And that time I ran out of gas too. Man, yeah. <laughs> she ran out of gas with that time. And I end up replacing all the wiring in the car, not knowing she just ran out of gas. Now they knew that at the at the uh, at the place at the place at Chevy. at Chevy. They was on some petty getty ass shit trying to get some extra money. You know what I'm saying? Before you do anything, take your. I didn't know my fuel gauge was broken. Yeah, make sure you check before you do that, cause these be these mechanics will get over on you if you let them. Crazy. I'm a monster now, though. You tell me some garbage, and I'm gonna check up on it. Then I'm gonna come for you, werewolf style. But yeah, I'm finna, peel, I'm finna peel this bad boy up. Show him right now what it's saying, Christine. See, it's saying it's full. That motherfucker ain't full. It ain't got a three quarters worth of gas. Yes, yeah. It ain't got a three fourth tank. <laughs> it's got a quarter worth of gas. A quarter tank gas. Stupid. I'm about to show you. I'm finna fill it up right now. And uh, I'm gonna get back to y'all in a second. Bop. <laughs> how much it's gonna cost and we I put mid grade in here I can't afford the expensive shit <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I can't afford the expensive shit it's cold today it's cold and rainy outside but well, we get to the 30 30 mark. I said about 35 dollars. 35 dollars. I'm probably wrong. I'm wrong on that one. I gotta be wrong. 42. On that. I don't think 38 to 42. 38. Yeah, I go with 38. They already had a quarter tank of gas. Damn, Ooh, I was 35. right. 35. Actually, it's closer to 36. Get out of here. I said it's, about 35. I said about 35. It's, it's closer to 36. Get out of here. <laughs> you just don't want me to be right. No. I could have pumped that little three seven so, pennies yeah. in there. Little cheapskate, cheapskate. Damn! I now you went over. <laughs> <laughs> I hate doing that because then now I gotta go to 37. Nah, I ain't 
<laughs> he won't even go to 37. Let's see what we got. Don't yeah. worry about the actuators, y'all. They about to go off. They might not. They might not. As soon as they say it's fuel low, it's already saying it. Look. It's so empty, I know. And I just filled this bad boy up. And it's saying fuel off. <laughs> Check this out. It says empty. It says empty. Yeah. Like I said, it's saying empty. And this motherfucker full of gas. Fuel low. I don't even know if the remote starter going to work when they say that. I don't know. But uh, I'll get back to y'all in a second when I get to the crib. I just wanted to show y'all that. Let y'all know. You know, I got to keep my werewolf gang in, in, in there. And I know y'all worried about the SS, but I'm gonna talk to y'all in a second. Bop. Well, we made it home, gang. Werewolf gang. And Paula's here. Like I said, we just did a quick little test drive. Talked a little bit about what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna fix it up. Well, I ain't gonna say fix it up. Make it better than what it is, you know? It is what it is right now, but we are gonna fix, fix the paint. Do a little couple things, change a couple things around, do a couple little cosmetic mods. And we're going to go from there. It's already a lovely car. By far, it's best, uh, definitely a lovely car. If you're going to get this generation um, Impala, you definitely got to get the Super Sport version. You definitely got to get the Super Sport version. But if you don't can't afford the Super Sport version, just get whatever one you can. You know how I am, man. You get what you can afford and enjoy it. But uh, Prometheus. Y'all want me to get our cold start from Prometheus? Let's see what he, Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what Prometheus is talking about. He ain't been starting in a couple days, so let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what Prometheus is talking about. Prometheus, rise! Damn! let Prometheus run but uh with that being said appreciate y'all joining me today for one of these fireball videos man y'all stay up stay sucker free and for those who have not subscribed to my channel man what you waiting for browse my content I do car content anything car related I do it truck related things too I just do it car reviews mods on cars I do it all man and I enjoy my life at the same time also I'm a trucker but uh if you watch my YouTube channel You'll figure that out. But with that being said, it's your boy, T. Light. Oh, yeah. Just making sure my lips wasn't ashy. <laughs> and uh, shout out to the Werewolf Gang. No. Much love to the Light Crew. You already know how I feel about you. And I'm out this piece. Jig.